Completed in 1937, the Golden Gate Bridge was the longest suspension bridge of its day, an engineering marvel achieved against great odds through the gritty determination of a team of dedicated workers. Golden Gate Bridge was built during the Great Depression. I think at that time jobs were so scarce for everybody and uh, I think getting a job at the bridge was pretty special because that was full-time work. Two of the lucky ones were Charlie Heinbockel and Rolf Jensen, both hired for construction jobs on the bridge. I worked on the bridge 1933 to 1937. Yeah, well that was a time when of course many, many people were looking for jobs and they just weren't available. They'll line up a full block waiting to get in to see if they could get a job. A full block every day. So I felt very fortunate when my good friend George McKeever saw to it that I would be a favored son. I was paid $27.50 a week. It was five and a half a day. From 8 in the morning till 4.30. You were very fortunate if you had a steady job those days. And what I did was just... Uh, Manual labor, whatever had to be done, they'd call on me. The most difficult job I had was where the cable came up, it couldn't rub on the steel. So they put a big wooden block underneath, and I had to get underneath and screw it up. That was a scary job. But most of the time was pushing concrete around. Well, the big anchor blocks, they would pour a full day of concrete and you were up there with your hip boots pushing it around because you just had to keep tamping it, tamping it to uh, set the concrete properly. So you were there for eight, 12 hours sometimes. We're here 70 years later and uh, this is where Rolf and Charlie actually worked on the pylons, the anchorage here at the south end of the bridge doing the forming for the pylons and the anchorage and actually pouring the concrete to build these immense structures. Painstaking work. There was still fun to be had, and the workers found ways to personalize the experience. Charlie Heinbockel drank a beer at the top of the bridge. I used to go up to the top and uh, drink my mother's home brew and take a pint of it to work with me every day. Then, of course, when I finished, what was I going to do with the bottle? Well, fortunately, there was plenty of space out there. Just threw the bottle over and got rid of it. During the concrete pour, Rolf Jensen tossed coins into the mix. So you're pouring a concrete, you threw money in? Yeah. Oh, okay. Why'd you do that? For the hell of it. For the hell of it. <laughs> All right, that's a good reason. Okay. <laughs> the man who built the bridge faced harsh elements. High winds, fog, strong currents, and great heights. Chief Engineer Joseph Strauss made safety a priority. Safety was very important during the building of the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, Joseph Strauss uh, was really important to him to have a safety net underneath the whole bridge while they were working. Uh, in case anybody fell off the bridge, they would fall into the safety net. And he also wore hard hats at that time any more safety belts. So I think safety was uh, a priority and it was very important to them make sure that they were protecting the workers. When you looked out there across the Golden Gate and realized that you were gonna be on top, yes, it was a great concern. Dangerous, you know, it's windy. We made sure you had your safety belt and a, time, a hard hat, very important. Even though safety precautions were taken, some tragedies did happen, like the scaffold accident, where the scaffold broke loose from the railing and fell through the safety net, and the workers that were working on that fell into the bay and were killed. Well, I, I worked with uh, three of them that were swept out to sea. Two of them were Charlie Lindris and Chris Anderson. I worked with them. Oh, well, that particular day we were working on an outside scaffold. Outside scaffold. I got out of it but they stayed in 
but eventually it just gave way and our fate went to sea. I could have been in there too. Fortunately, I wasn't. The Golden Gate Bridge means different things to different people. For locals, it's a breathtaking drive into San Francisco. For visitors from around the world, it's a landmark of great beauty and grace. And for the men and women who work on the bridge, it's a sense of pride and accomplishment. It's one of the greatest projects that was ever built, and to have been part of it, working on the bottom and working on the top, I was quite proud of that. Wonderful. I'd like to do it again. You want to hire me? <laughs> you want to hire you? Let me see. Okay. Yeah, we can use you out there. You want to be a bridge painter? <laughs> I want to sit on a chair. You want to sit in a chair? You want my job, right? <laughs> I love working here. I think it's just it's a privilege and an honor to take care of a world icon like the Golden Gate Bridge. I think people that see the Golden Gate Bridge compared to seeing the Statue of Liberty on the East Coast, that when you come to see the Golden Gate Bridge, you know you're home. It's just quite a sight. Unbelievable stuff. <laughs>